All right, this video is about multiplying and dividing fractions, and we are going to start with multiplying fractions. So I have put the steps on the side. The first step is multiply the numerators, the second, multiply the denominators, and the third is simplify if you can. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do these couple examples. So step one, multiply our numerators. Our numerators are our top numbers, 3 times 2 is 6. Multiply the denominators, bottom numbers, 4 times 3 is 12. And the last step, simplify if possible. These are both divisible by 2, um, 3 and 6, and we want to go with the highest number that they're both divisible by in order to get our most simplified answer. And we're going to go with 6. So 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 12 divided by 6 is 2. My final answer is 1 half. Second example, we have 2 fifths times 7 eighths. So again, to multiply our numerators, 2 times 7 is 14. Multiply our denominators, um, 5 times 8 is 40. Can we simplify? Well, I know they're at least both, and I'm going to show that giant one again. I know they're at least both divisible by 2, so we'll start there. So we're going to divide by 2 over 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 40 divided by 2 is 20. I can't simplify further. 7 is a prime number, so we have 7 over 20 as our final answer. And one last example for multiplying. Multiplying my top numbers, 5 times 3 is 15. 4 times 4 is 16. So we get 15 sixteenths. Can't simplify. So that's my final answer. Alright, now on to dividing fractions, and I have my steps here again. So, remembering keep change flip, and I will um, put that video on the resources as well for our keep change flip song that I know gets stuck in your heads. So, the first one, keep, we're keeping that first fraction the same, so I'm actually just going to rewrite this below. I'm going to rewrite 4 over 7. The second one is change the division to multiplication, so that sign is going to become multiplication. And then flip the numbers in the second fraction, so the 3 goes to the top and the 2 goes to the bottom. So this becomes 3 over 2. And then... We are going to multiply. I should actually add that step. I don't know how I missed that. Multiply numerators. Multiply denominators. And then simplify. If possible. Okay. So sorry I missed those. So we have 4 times 3 is 12. 7 times 2 is 14. I know they are both divisible by 2. So I'm going to show that dividing. Dividing by 2 over 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And 14 divided by 2 is 7. Can't simplify. So my final answer is 6 over 7. And I'm going to go ahead and redo that. Because I want all of those steps there. So keep, change, and flip. Keep the first fraction, so I'm keeping 1 sixth. Change division to multiplication. And flip the numbers in the second one. So this is going to become 8 over 3, then multiply our numerators, 1 times 8 is 8, 
6 times 3 is 18, multiplying my denominators. And I can divide for sure by 2, so I'm going to start there. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 18 divided by 2 equals 9, and that is as simplified as it gets, so that is my final answer. Ooh. There we go. So there are my simplified steps again, or my expanded steps, I should say. Don't want to miss anything, so keep the first fraction. So I'm keeping 9 over 5, or 9 fifths, changing division to multiplication, and then flipping my second fraction to be 8 over 2. 9 times 8 is 72. And 5 times 2 is 10. All right, and I am actually going to change this into a mixed number before I simplify because I think that'll take away some of the work that I need to do. So I need to figure out how many times 10 goes into 72. Well, I know that 10 times 7 is 70, so it goes in 7 times. And then since there's 70 and we have 72, 2 would be left over, which would leave me with 2 over 10. And now I'm going to look and see if I can simplify that fraction. I'm going to keep that 7 the same, but I know I can divide the 7 and the 10 both by 2. When I do that, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 10 divided by 2 is 5. My final answer is 7 and 1 fifth. Yeah. 